Now, Franklin not in the starting lineup tonight, but they expect him to be a part of the group that closes out tight games for Georgia Tech. Lance Terry, one of five starters, and the opening tap of the season belongs to Clayton State. Terry trying to get free. A three-pointer from the top of the arc won't go. Howard, second chance. That won't fall. And the putback again, no, and finally. Fadeaway jumper from Coffey. Smith on the pedal. The pass to Terry. Won't go. Howard sticks it back. Fed inside to Sims. He has it jarred loose by Smith. Jackets with the steal. Lance Terry with the elevation. And Lance Terry, welcome to Georgia Tech. His presence felt in his first home opener at the Cambridge Pavilion. Scary Terry. Transfer from Gardner. And I think for Kyle, you're looking for him to kind of be the floor general and sort of the steady hand of this Yellow Jacket team. Davon Smith, finger roll off the glass and in. 21 conference games. And he had seven ACC games in double figure scoring. He's not going to have to score for this team every night. In an era of the transfer portal, you think you find a lot of college coaches at the Power Five level, you know, they almost prefer to bring in a more veteran player. One year of eligibility remaining, but has played a lot of college basketball. Yeah, 31 starts at South Alabama. Again, he had a couple years experience at uh, junior college, also played at Auburn. It's an Atlanta, Georgia native. Stone Mountain specifically. With the left, Javon Franklin. Nice touch from the big fella. Yeah, that's where defense becomes, you know, a sum of the parts. Five guys working in unison when you don't have that shot blocking rim protector. Howard, he's going to hold his own down there, but he's not a guy that's going to bounce up and swat. You know, it's all got to come together. It comes with experience. It starts here tonight. At one point, Coach Passer's quick to make as Debo Coleman drills a three. Franklin, nice job off the basketball, being a disruptor. Kelly with the step to the hole and one. Miles Kelly won't fall. Wes Williams with the rebound. But those bigs for Georgia Tech, they feel confident they can move their feet. That was the second try that time for Christian Chambers goes. Transfer from Columbus State. Jalen Moore scoops it off the glass. He's another guy that can make strides with opportunity. Played in 13 ACC games last season. Another three-pointer there. To the 60-year senior, Ricardo Sams. Back underneath to Johnson. Nice job of waiting out Sturdivant, but couldn't finish. And then a loose ball in the hands of the Lakers. And it's Kristen Chambers with two-hand slam. Got the yellow jacket three to four. Howard, wide open lane. And he flushes it. Rodney Howard now with six points. Coleman accelerating up to Kelly. Kelly lets it fly in transition. Off the front of the rim, no good. Fed ahead. Sams with a two-hand jam. Clayton State. So they're not settling. They're just, you know, missing shots. Some jitters. First game of the year. Good contest at the buzzer, but Debo Coleman. Six minutes and change left in the first half. Inside. Lecky steps out, pulls the trigger, hits it. Three points tonight. Sam's guarded by Howard. Gets a step on his man and beats him to the lane. Sam's with the rebound. Down to the corner. That's Harper. He got it. Two points for Travis Harper, the second. Jack is trying to run after a make and started him to turn around pop. He got it. Harper's talented. He's got good DNA. His dad played basketball at UAB, 1994 to 98. And here comes Smith the other way. Wide open. He lays it in. Yellow Jackets ahead by seven. Terry nearly lost his footing. Sam's the extra pass to Chambers. And a beautiful timing by Christian Chambers. Got his man in the air, drew the foul. Some members of the Georgia Tech program before the game, John, and given that Jalen Shaw, their big man, Clayton State not playing tonight, it kind of presents a, a unique... Can't turn that ball over, and that's where he can develop. Harper surging through off the glass, the lead down two. North Florida spent a couple years at Middle Tennessee State, now in his sixth year of college basketball, the second at Clayton State. Coffee down the right side. He's tied it up. Now it's Kelly. Ball oh, in his hands. Nearly lost the handle. Out to Maxwell. Three-pointer. No. Air ball. Put back. Yes. 
Javon Franklin ties us up at half. Second possession again, a backdoor play and miscommunication between two players. It's Harper down to Sams in the high low. Clayton State's got the lead. Sturdivant spins, pulls up. In and out, Howard, the put back, yes. Second chance points for Rodney Howard. He's got eight. Back even at 36. Harper's pass deflected by Sturdivant. Here come the Yellow Jackets in transition. Smith to the rim, off the glass and in. He's got a rebound. He can start those breaks. The freshman Weinmanson's triple won't go. Offensive rebound for Sam, stumbling out of bounds. It's to Weinmanson. He's stuffed by Coleman. Terry lets it fly, buries it, Lance Terry. He scored more college points than Lance Terry. He's over 600 now at five tonight. 10 seconds to shoot. Coffee with the floater, got it. Eight feet from the basket, and Georgia Tech needs to do a better job of containing. Debo Coleman off balance, one hand, sinks it. Shooting team on paper that we've seen. We'll see how it translates on the court, but they've got to be optimistic about the perimeter shooting that this roster is capable of. Coleman's going to be a big part of that shooting prowess, too. Floater that time from short corner. Halfway down and out, but Sam's the offensive rebound and two points for the sixth-year senior from Miramar, Florida. Ben Lammers, Moses Wright, that, that was getting swatted away. Lance Terry in the corner, buries a second three. Jack, it's heating up. That's two threes now, ten points. Terry's in double figures in his first game as a yellow jacket. He's now got ten points. And another three for Lance Terry. <laughs> Dragon rights on that one. Especially considering Edwards was an AAU teammate of his. Howard gets it to go. He's got that height advantage, the X Factor for Tech. Around the rim and out. Yellow Jackets with Kelly bringing it down. Howard can't handle the pass. He recovers. Weinmanson kick out. Three pointer won't go that time for Wes Williams. Coffee just inside the line. Got it. Sturdivant over to Terry. Is he still hot? You bet. Lance Terry feeling it. That's his fourth three-pointer of the night. Howard's got the board now at 12. He's just too shy of his career high, which he said on opening night last year. And Kyle Sturdivant weaves his way in. Clayton State, they've got a light roster. They're missing a few of their key guys. Not a lot of depth. I think conditioning's been a factor. Georgia Tech continues to push the tempo. Tech's done a nice job second half pushing tempo. I mean, this is a light roster for Clayton State. There you see another dunk at the bucket. Got a turnover. Start of it. A two on one with Moore. Alley oop. Yeah, sir. Jalen Moore. Boy, in Clayton State, they hit three of their first five three pointers. John, they've missed 11 straight now. Is that ball swatted away by Jalen Moore? Yellow Jackets in transition. No look bounce past the Maxwell. He'll go to the line as he draws the foul. The season opening press conference last week that you have a lot of players in the ACC that may not have come back, but because they do have a chance to make some money. Maxwell pulls the trigger on a three. Off the mark. Moore an offensive rebound. He hoists it high through contact and draws the foul. And the rim protection is going to be a big challenge for Georgia Tech this year. How do they solve that? Five seconds to shoot for Clayton State. Coffee ball in his hands. Rises up and gets it at the buzzer. Second leading rebounder type guy. You know, third leading rebounder. If he gets the minutes and he develops, he has that, that package where he can do that. Looks like an old number 14, Joe Hamilton, Zach Pyron. Great come from behind victory for Coach Brent Key. Coach Brent Key, three wins under his belt. And count the basket for Javon Franklin. John, put your mouthpiece in. Alvin's going to get you. So we had some great memories playing together here on the flats. Well, Dr. Aaron King passed away just two years ago. He's a bona fide seven-footer. Canadian it was a big time get late. <laughs> yes, so, it was. Three star prospect, late bloomer. He was coveted, and Butch Pastor went in there and got Martin off. It was an August commit. 
Blake Gavin. Well, he's got some Russian roots. His mother played on the Russian national team. Yeah, and they'll have four days to prepare uh, at Georgia State. That's going to be a tough one. Georgia State's got a brand new facility. That place will be rocking. It's hard to believe this was a 34-34 yeah. game at the break. The Jackets just put it on Clayton State in the second half. I think they can do some special things. Keep in mind, they were without their best player tonight, Jalen Shaw. Yeah, they, they competed. They were in this one again for about 25 minutes. I really want to see Boyd knock that one down, number one. You know, those guys put in the effort uh, day in and day out. Boyd can be a leader and get ready for your first road test, which is always, uh, always a tough one. And at the buzzer, won't go. Your final score, Georgia Tech 93, Clayton State 63.